okay, now I have opened my eating window and I have the day's first cafe latte. So it seemed like a good time to talk about timed writings. Timed writings are something that I learned about in this book by Natalie Goldberg called Writing Down the Bones. All of her books are wonderful. This one is her first and it's probably a good place to start. I like the idea of timed writings because I've never really been a journal prompt person. They just never worked for me. If someone tells me to write about the saddest memory of my childhood, I will just go blank. Maybe my mind is rebelling against being told what to write. I don't know. But anyway, timed writings are also a kind of journal prompt but they're more open-ended. So that works better for me, plus it really takes your mind to some surprising places. You would be surprised what thoughts and memories and phrases will come out of you when confronted with the subject of a peanut butter sandwich. So, Ideally, when you are writing a timed writing, you probably will start with whatever the topic is. And by the end, you might not really be technically on that topic anymore. So when I was laying in bed last night, I was thinking about making this video and I wanted to choose a word that I could use for a timed writing. And for me, and Natalie Goldberg suggests this too, I think she's right. It's a lot better to choose some kind of concrete word, a noun, actually, and use that instead of something more grand and vague like peace. I mean, I could write about peace, but I don't know that I'm going to get down into any, um, any real memories in my life or any thoughts that aren't platitudes if I'm faced with such a grand topic. So sometimes these can be scary. Hold on. So anyway, you never know what you're going to get when you do a timed writing. So I'm just going to give you a little example of that. Last night I was laying in bed and I was thinking, what word could I use as an example for a timed writing? And I chose the word tree and then I just let my mind kind of wander. I wasn't writing, but it was as if I was writing in my mind. And this is the kind of stuff that came to me. I remember the 40 foot tall avocado tree in the backyard of our house in La Habra, California. That was in Southern California, the home of the avocado. I hate avocados and I really, really hated my stepfather that we lived with in that house. I guess it's good that my mom married him because he brought us from New Jersey to California and there I met my husband and so I have the family that I have now. But at that time, under the avocado tree, I was not happy to know him at all. So if I really took my timer and set it for 10 minutes and started with the word tree and wrote for 10 minutes without stopping, and I started with what I said in the last clip about my stepfather, who knows where that might have gone. I might have mentioned avocados later on, like who knows, maybe that kitchen was 70s avocado green, I don't know. But anyway, all kinds of stuff would have come out of me sparked by the word tree. And that is the point of timed writings because you do these timed writings their writing practice. You don't have to worry about, you know, how impressive they are as pieces of prose at this first stage. But you do this, things come out of you that may be surprising, and you can go through that timed writing and find 
sparks of things that would be good for future timed writings and eventually you develop a large body of writing through all of these timed writings and when you look through them you will find some good stuff in there so I recommend doing timed writings both for inner excavation if you really like to do that. I also like, recommend doing timed writings because you may be surprised at the interesting turn of phrase or metaphors or things that will come out of you when you don't feel pressured to write in a certain way or stay on a certain trajectory. You might describe something in a really interesting way or something like that and timed writings especially about 10 minute short time writings are really good to let yourself kind of play with words and language without any stress. I also want to say that you don't have to choose a noun, a concrete noun for your timed writing. I do like to do that if I'm trying to get at memories, but I also like to just take something that that has been coming to me, little fragments of thoughts that I want to think through, um, especially maybe if I want to write an article or something about it. And one of my favorite timed writings that I ever did, my phrase to write on for 10 minutes without stopping was my ideal but fictional self. And that was actually really enlightening, plus it became a feature in one of my zines. So if there's some little idea that is kind of knocking at the door of my head, I will give that, you know, some kind of name and tell myself, write about this. And interesting stuff comes out of things like that too.